Question 41. 25 years ago, Phoenix deposited a single sum of money into a new bank account, earning 2.4% interest per annum compounding monthly. Present value interest factors for an annuity of $1 for various interest rates, R, and numbers of periods, N, are given in the table. Phoenix made the following withdrawals from this account. $2,000 at the end of each month for the first 15 years, starting at the end of the first month, and $1,200 at the end of each month for the next 10 years, starting at the end of the 181st month after the account was opened. Calculate the minimum sum that Phoenix could have deposited in order to make these withdrawals. One way to solve this problem is to assume Phoenix made two withdrawals in the first 180 months, that is a withdrawal of $1,200 per month, plus an extra $800 per month, and that gives us the $2,000 per month in the first 180 months, and that's equivalent to the first 15 years. Now from the 181st month onwards, Phoenix is only withdrawing $1,200 per month at the end of each month. So from the 181st month, right through to the 300th month. So I've written that as two separate points. Phoenix withdrew $1,200 per month over 300 months, and Phoenix withdrew an extra $800 per month in the first 180 months. And we're gonna treat this as two separate problems. So let's find the present value for the withdrawal of $1,200 per month over the entire 300 months. So going back to our table of interest factors, we want this column here, and we get that by taking the interest rate per annum, 2.4%, and dividing that by 12, because it's being compounded monthly, and we get 0.002. So we need to refer to this column here. And we want the present value for an annuity, we treat withdrawals as an annuity, over 300 months, so the interest factor is 225.430. So the present value is $1,200 per month, and we multiply that by 225.430, and we get $270,516. And I've labelled that with a letter A. Now in the first 180 months, Phoenix is withdrawing an extra $800. And that's where we get the $2,000 from. $1,200 per month plus an extra $800 per month gives us $2,000 per month at the end of each month. So to find the present value for $800 per month over the first 180 months, going back to our table, we need this row here, and the interest factor is 151.036. So the present value is $800 multiplied by 151.036, and we get $120,828.80. And I've labelled that with a letter B. So to get the total present value, we take value A, add that to value B, and we get $391,344.80. And that's what Phoenix would have had to have deposited as a minimum to make those withdrawals.